Welcome to the Decked 101 how-to video series. Here we will show you how to install your new Decked Cargo Glide into your pickup truck bed. This video is for those of you who are not installing Cargo Glide onto a drawer system. You will need a power drill, a crescent wrench, a half inch socket, a half inch drill bit, a 5 16 drill bit, a marker or grease pin, a roll of tape or a drill stop, a buddy who owes you a huge favor, and a good old American tape measure. First, test fit the cargo glide into the back of your truck. If you want to avoid scratching your shiny new bed, the cardboard lid from the packaging is a good layer to lay down first. Hoist your cargo glide frame into the truck bed and slide it to the head of the bed, leaving about a half inch space, and check to make sure that the tailgate closes. If you didn't get the right product, cease operations immediately and call our customer service department. Next, take your tape measure and slide the tray out one stop and measure from the cab side of the bed to the bottom mounting frame, making sure to leave at least a half inch of clearance. Measure both sides and square up the product front to back in your bed. Mark the tailgate into the frame with your marker or grease pin on both sides. Carefully remove the cargo glide and place it on the ground. Next, separate the cargo glide tray from the frame. Have your friend hold the frame down firmly as you depress the latch and lift the tray as you slide it toward you. Allow the latch pin to clear the opening in the frame and then lower the tray again, sliding a little further until the wheels clear the opening and you can lift the tray out. Next, place the bottom mounting frame back in your pickup truck, aligning the tailgate end of the frame with the marks you made earlier. Now, square it up side to side so that it sits satisfyingly squarely in your bed. Once you have it located, mark both sides for reference should you accidentally trip over it or something. Next, identify where you're drilling your holes according to your specific cargo glide's written instructions. It is critical that your slots on the mounting frame line up with the tops of the ribs in your bed. Your drilling locations must be at least one quarter inch from edges of the flat top rib surface. Next, grab your 5 16 drill bit and either a drill stop or some tape to remind you to only drill through the first layer of metal and not your fuel line or other valuable undercarriage member. Mark and drill your pilot holes following your specific model's written instructions. As you drill your holes, drop a bolt into the pilot holes to keep the mounting frame in place. Once you have drilled all of your pilot holes, move the mounting frame to the side and grab your half inch drill bit. Drill out your pilot holes to their full diameter. Next, grab a plus nut and the plus nut tool from your hardware kit. Thread the bolt with the washer through the plus nut tool and onto the plus nut. Finger tighten the bolt down. Drop the plus nut tool into your hole. Using the crescent wrench tighten to the plus nut tool, Hold the assembly firmly in place, flat to the bed surface. Tighten the bolt into the plus nut with your half inch socket. It will be difficult at first, then get easier as the plus nut expands and finally get more difficulty in, letting you know you are there. Do not go full torque boy on the plus nut. Just get it good and firmly tight. Loosen the bolt a turn or so and unscrew the bolt from the plus nut. And there you have it, you plus nut nut. Repeat this process for all the holes you drilled in your bed. Next, place the frame over your holes, line up the corresponding slots, and finger tighten the 5 16 bolts with a washer in all locations. Square up the frame one last time and then go back and snugly tighten down the mounting frame to your truck bed. Once again, do not go full torque orangutan on your bolt heads, just get them good and snugly tight. Place the tray on top of the frame and slowly guide the wheels into the opening on the tailgate end of the frame. Lower the tray and slide it all the rest of the way in. And there you have it. Congratulations. If you have any questions, please hit us up. We're happy to help.